Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Welcome back to Tankas Club in a new video. And in this video, we are gonna talk about the Black Friday, how the whole thing is working and which offers are really worth it to go for. So firstly, in my opinion, the main reward of this uh, event, it's gonna go for nine days. Um, firstly, the Emil 1951, after that, the T77, and I don't know which one after that's gonna come. But I mean, 750 uh, coupons, it's really, really so expensive for the 1951 and for the T77. Uh, so that means you're going to invest, uh, I don't know, 100 euros or 100 dollars to get the 1951. And that's really, really a lot. But what we can do is, for example, um, so this event is a pay to win event. Okay, so if you want to get those coupons You have to buy something from the store in order to get those rewards or the tank So uh, we go to the store you can uh, um, Search for things with that uh, coupons logo and you can buy I don't know black boxes Which is worth it and I'm gonna do it too. stay tuned for that or you can for example um by all those tanks they are in offer right now and we're gonna see right now which tanks are really worth it so the amx 30b definitely worth it and uh, it's an offer 45 percent for only 12.5k of gold the k91 also worth it um yeah a very solid tank a hull down tank so it's not really completely beginner friendly with the uh, no to loader tank not auto reloader but auto loader tank so it's a strong tank in the, in the in the right hands, let's say, the same for the AMX 30B. The Optic 274A, I played with the tank, I don't have it yet, but I played from, from a friend's account, and this tank, yeah, it's not something special in my opinion, it's not on the list where I say you should go for it, uh, really. The Skoda T56, a strong tank, really, so it's worth it to go for. The AMX. K91 Skoda T56 worth it. Um, the T55A, yeah, we have the, the brother of this thing, the Tetri line, so I would say not really that worth it because it's not that really OP. The Lansen's the same. T54E2 definitely worth it. OP tank, beginner friendly, and OP at the same time. So even if you are not that skilled player, this tank is still beginner friendly because the armor is really so strong, the front armor. And in the right hands, it's just OP. Same for the Kyla, a very strong tank. The M41D, oh yes, go for it guys, but only skilled players who love to play with light tanks. High DPM, extremely high DPM for a tier 7 premium tank. So definitely worth it, but only for skilled players. Um, 95 per 2, nope. DS5, um, yeah, for tank destroyer lovers, yes, absolutely strong front armor. Um, a strong solid tank, but very slow. So if you are this, yeah, I would say if you are, you like to play with with TDs, go for it. But it's not. I would not suggest it, or I would not say that this tank is definitely worth it to go for. But the Canoniac Panzer is, in my opinion, also very strong and OP. In his class as a tank destroyer, we have here really an insane speed for a tank destroyer, a fast reload time, a high DPM. So uh, yeah, the Canon Jagdpanzer 105 is also definitely worth it to go for. Yeah, uh, the Amic 1357 only for skilled players and it's only for fun, so not worth it in my opinion. The Type 64, yeah, it's a tier 6 with high DPM, um, good mobility, so um, yeah, but I mean, also in the right hands, let's say this tank in the right hands is also very strong, okay? Um, or I would say even OP, but the Poodle is very strong. So in my opinion, the tanks, what you should go for, I will say, um, I would classify it by OP for skilled or um, OP for skilled and beginner friendly players. Which tanks are worth it? Let's resume, in my opinion. If you have uh, other opinions, just tell me that, guys. Comment the videos. Okay, so the Super Hellcat, nope, it's strong, but it's not OP, okay? The Object 907, um, yeah, I mean, it's a collector tank, um, normally it's so expensive, but yeah, in my opinion, it's not stronger 
than for example um, the 22 uh, the t22 medium but it's still a very strong tank it's not it's not like uh, that op like the t22 medium so that's why if you have a better tank which is more strong than this so i would say not worth it don't go for it the skoda t56 t50 tanks worth it the key 91 very strong worth it for skilled players the amx 30p yes strong tank for skilled players um the t54 e2 a very strong tank even op i would say um yeah but it's also for beginner uh, friendly worth it and uh, for skilled players the kyla beginner friendly strong front armor a very strong tank also worth it the m41d op tank for skilled players only worth it for skilled players i would say yeah and the canoniac panzer also i would say the TS5 is beginner friendly, so it's worth it for beginner tank destroyer players. The Canoniac Panzer is worth it for skilled tank destroyer players, so also OP but in the right hands. And the rest, I would say the Type 64, also worth it, strong tank, go for it. But if also, if you are a skilled player who know how to play with light tanks, it's uh, it got a high, extremely good mobility, high speed and also high dpm for a tier 6 tank light tank in his class so that's my opinion about the black friday about the offers which is worth it or not um tell me comment the video and tell me um your opinion about the tanks which is your favorite tank and what are you going to do in this event are you going to invest all that money to get the for example the emil 1951 which is my opinion so so expensive yeah, whatever. Just comment the video, tell me your opinion, and see you soon in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.